Unfortunately, we have another church scandal in North America. We started out earlier on with a scandal from Tony Evans, and now we have one of his friends, Robert Morris, pastor of Gateway Church. It is one of the biggest churches in North America, 100,000 weekly attenders. And he is admitted to being involved with a young lady. Let's hear what the ChristianPost.com reports. Robert Morris confesses to moral failure in quotations after woman claims he began molesting her at age 12. Robert Morris, founding pastor of Gateway Church in South Lake, Texas, which attracts an estimated 100,000 worshipers weekly, has confessed to an inappropriate sexual behavior with a young lady more than 35 years ago while he was a young pastor after a woman accused him of sexually abusing over over multiple years beginning when she was 12. He writes, when I was er, in my early 20s, I was involved in an inappropriate sexual behavior with a young lady in a home where I was staying. Did you notice that the language that Robert Morris used, he admits to being involved with a young lady and this person who was involved in this scandal, the young lady, admits that she was 12 years old. So this was a child. This was sexual exploitation of a child. Morris was a, was a young pastor. He was 20 years old. He was also married, abused a child. And although apparently he went through a restoration process, this man is disqualified from ministry. This is criminal behavior. He might even be looking at some prison time. I don't even know the rules in the United States and the, but that particular state where this happened. But I don't even want to read you the rest of the details of what happened. They're just too disturbing. They're too shocking. But not only does Mor- Morris's actions have serious problems, his preaching has some serious problems. In a sermon preached 10 years ago, he talks about how before he was a Christian, he tried to find women that would be easy to take advantage of. Yes, he mentions this in a sermon. Let's give that short clip a listen. Um, I learned to lie and manipulate uh, because I also had rejection. Uh, I didn't want to be rejected. So I looked for the girls that would be the most susceptible. And I learned how to spot this in girls. Please hear me. There's a reason I'm I'm sharing this. Uh, The very thing, ladies, that the world tells you to give a man before marriage so that you can keep him is the very thing that will cause you to lose him. Uh, I looked for girls that did not have a good relationship with their father. I learned to spot that. I looked for girls that were insecure. And uh, I don't know, now I look back on this, I can tell I did it. It wasn't like a plan that I had, but I could, I could spot this. Uh, girls were made to be held by men. And if they are not held, if that need is not met in a healthy way by their father, they will meet it in an unhealthy way. Now I need to say with clarity, this is allegedly before he was a Christian. And we all have sin in our past. That is a given. But what is the point of bringing up issues like this in the congregation? This is just giving younger people ideas if they're there. This is not setting a godly example, bringing up why you did all these evil things in the past. But Morris also associates himself with known false preachers. Here he's welcoming and get rolling up the red carpet for Joyce Meyer, who is a known false teacher. Because I've read so many of her books, and they've just they're just absolutely incredible that Joyce has a new book called The Answer to Anxiety. Well, this is probably one of the few people in the body of Christ that actually needs no introduction. Please welcome Joyce Meyer. But when you dive in to some of his teaching, it's shocking as well. Here in this short clip, he claims to be part human, part divine. Let's give him a listen. So there are times I'm divine. But there are a lot of times 
than I'm human. So this summer, the Lord spoke this series to me called Divinely Human. Now, here's what I mean by that, all right? I, I'm only gonna use Jesus as a opening type, but we're not gonna be talking about Christ in this series um, as far as fo focusing on his life. But Jesus was fully divine and fully human. Fully divine and fully human, okay? I am not fully divine. I know that surprises some of you. <laughs> but I am fully human. But I am partially divine. I have no idea how he why he thought about saying that or what scripture he was referencing. I can only be assuming that maybe he was referencing 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 to 4, where God gives us this divine nature. But Peter isn't talking about that you become divine. He's talking about the dwelling of God the Holy Spirit within you. You don't become part divine when you become Christian. God dwells in you by the power of the Holy Spirit. We are still sinners as human. We're still in this weak and earthly body. But we're given the Holy Spirit. We're given God's grace. And the Spirit of God dwells within us. But we are never, ever divine or part divine. I already know some of the comments I'm going to be given in this video. What he's done is none of my business. But when you've sexually assaulted a minor, you're disqualified from ministry. This is a crime. This is a crime. I need to say it again. And I want to say, let's pray for this victim. She's lived with this for decades. I pray that she'll be healed by Christ. If she doesn't know Christ, she'd come to know Christ and experience the joy of the Lord, even though she was taken advantage of by an older quote-unquote pastor. This is horrific. And I also pray that Pastor Morris is brought to a genuine repentance and restoration. Thanks for watching and God bless.